All right, folks, welcome back. This is test number two of uh, the hydrogen generator that I've been trying to build here. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the changes that I've made since last time, um, and hopefully it's helping. Um, last time, if, you, uh, if you'll have watched the last video, I had a setup uh, very similar to what you see right here. The only difference was um, regular tap water, one less plate, and a farther spacing. So as you can um, assume, this time I have distilled water. Um, I moved the plates closer together, decreased their spacing, and also increased by one plate. So I have five plates now instead of just four. Um, uh, last time with the tap water it was getting quite brown and yellowish colored even after a little bit of running so that was leaving some nice film on those stainless steel plates so I pulled them all off um, gave them a good scrub down cleaning sanded them just a little bit got all the nasty stuff off of them made sure they were good and clean added that extra plate um, so I've got three positives and two negatives right now added the distilled water as you can see it's water level about up to there um, got about a half to two-thirds of a gallon of distilled water in there just got it from Walmart uh, pretty cheap not expensive at all and I have put baking soda in there just like last time I have used one and a half teaspoons in this uh, amount of water I started out at one teaspoon went up to one and a quarter and this one and a half seems to be a very good medium uh, mid-range as far as the amount of baking soda um, in this amount of water. Of course you can uh, decrease that or increase that depending on how much water you're going to be using. But uh, so far I've found that to be pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit here of the production. It's going to be running at, should be running at 12 volts, but with a computer power supply and the voltage drop uh, we're only getting around 10, um, 10.2 volts out of this right now. Um, it is under 25 amps, which I'm um, excited about since last time I wasn't getting this very much production at 25 amps. It was blowing it even at 30 amps. So I'm getting a little bit more production at a lower current and about the same voltage. So without further ado, I'll zoom in and show you the production. As you can see, that uh, starts generating very rapidly. I believe a lot more rapidly than it did last time. Um, fifth plate helping. As you can see, if I can zoom in here real quick before it all foams up and goes away. Oh, if I can focus. It's producing very well. I think the closer spacing helped, as well as having um, a little bit more of a correct balance ratio between the amount of distilled water and baking soda. Um, I'm very happy with this setup so far. I'm going to go up here so you can see uh, the voltage. We're actually only running at uh, about 9.8, so even a little lower. I'd say my power supply is probably slowly dying at this point, but uh, even better yet, I'm getting good production at a lower voltage, so I would say at a higher voltage, probably get a little bit better, so not bad at all. And excuse me for my um, lack of professionalism here, but uh, my fuse protection is very rudimentary. I uh, lost my fuse, fuse holder that I was using, so I had to come up with something that was at least halfway safe here, um, or at least showed me something. So. That's a 25 amp fuse right now. Um, the wires are just a tad warm. Um, you can tell they've got some current running through them, but they are small wires like before, so I still need to increase those. But under 25 amps for sure. And there it is again. So, that is it. Hope you all like it. 